Hi, in this video I will introduce the concepts of forced vibrations and resonance. In my previous videos we've only considered free vibrations. That is, oscillations where there is no external force being applied, so the object undergoes simple harmonic motion at its natural frequency. An example of something oscillating at its natural frequency would be a child on a swing that isn't being pushed. Instead of allowing an object to oscillate freely, we could apply a periodic force that would cause forced vibrations. An example of this would be an adult pushing the child on the swing. Forced vibrations can have two effects on a system. If the frequency of the driving force is not equal to the natural frequency, there will be moments where the child is moving backwards while the adult is pushing them forwards and this is going to cause the oscillations to be damped because that force is opposing the motion. The child's amplitude will decrease. However, if the adult synchronizes their pushes with the child's natural frequency so that they are pushing the child forward when the child is moving forwards naturally, this additional force will cause an acceleration, increasing the amplitude of the child's swings. This is called resonance. And the frequency that it occurs at is known as the resonant frequency. This graph is to show how the amount of damping applied to a system can reduce the effects of resonance. The natural frequency here is shown by the dashed line. With no damping at all, the amplitude of the resonant frequency is very high and the resonant frequency itself is equal to the natural frequency. If damping is applied, the amplitude is reduced and the resonant frequency becomes slightly lower than the natural frequency. The more damping we apply, the lower the amplitude and the lower the resonant frequency. We often see resonance around us in the world. For example, a car wing mirror may begin vibrating strongly at particular engine speeds. This is because the forced vibrations of the engine match the resonant frequency of the mirror, causing it to oscillate with a much higher amplitude. Resonance has also famously affected some bridges. The Millennium Bridge in London suffered resonance shortly after it opened, as pedestrians walking on it swayed in time with the bridge's natural oscillations causing a resonance that made these vibrations larger and larger. Eventually the problem was fixed by installing massive dampers at either end of the bridge. 